Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform literature review using an AI tool. Generally, literature review in the sense uh, evaluating and summarizing the previous work or, or, or else the published work on a specific topic. Fine. So this is the traditional approach which we follow. We used to have these kind of columns like serial number, paper title, year it is published, data set is used, uh, you know, uh, which data set and which algorithms are applied what results are achieved and we used to find uh, the research gap or the future directions from each each of the paper so where based on this we used to set our objectives right so now this is a sample now we used to do this or we used to repeat this particular action for minimum number of papers like if it is a conference paper we used to go for 20 papers and then like implementation paper or review paper then we use more than 50 references right so it depends on the requirements now to minimize this time uh, so we can use an ai tool so let me introduce that for you so that is sci space.com and currently uh, the website name is typeset.io so over here you can see this url and you have to create a profile here you have to log in and then after that you will see these four options like literature review ask questions on pdf extract data means you can upload multiple pdf files and you can prompt and you will you know get the means you can extract the data based on your prompt and then a paraphraser so now let me explore this literature review part for example um let me take this one thyroid disease this is my uh, uh, you know uh, recent search so i'm just showing you that so thyroid disease using machine learning so if you need a proper research papers then you have to you know prompt with the proper keywords over here fine so now we can see this based on this keywords which i have given here and it is getting these related papers machine learning approach for thyroid cancer diagnosis and here you can see that's uh, hypothyroidism and hypothyroidism uh, so all papers are related to thyroid right now i have 10 papers and these are the insights of each paper now the results and all those things are extracted you can see that this is uh, using thyroid uh, classification uh, using uh, machine learning and we got the insights and the uh, results of, of the paper fine so if you keep scrolling it will be keep on adding more number of papers for you with the insights getting it so now let me go to the top and you can see that right now it has added 30 papers for me fine if you feel this is sufficient then uh, you can add a few more columns for example uh, these are the popular columns if you wish you can add the same let me add data set here fine this is my column name and then you can say create now the column will get created and it will find the data set which is used in these papers fine and similarly it will draw the results over here and if you wish to add a few more columns yes you can do that uh, for example if i want to add uh, mm, let's say limitations of the papers and it will add another column for you so you can keep on adding uh, as per your requirements fine so now it is showing me the data sets uh, of each and every single paper you can see that uh, how many features are used how many you know studies are conducted and what sort of data sets have been applied so all those informations got extracted so this is very simple right so we can do this for you know multiple number of papers at one go so that is the advantage of using this tool and here also you will be getting limitations sometimes you will not you know uh, get the limitations properly where we need manual interpretation of those uh, you know insights and this is the uh, drawback of this paper so which is displayed here so you can add your customized columns over here and then you can see the results as well now the final step is if you if you wish to export this results as a csv file or excel file or some other format yes you can do that but for that you need an account means you need to purchase the premium version so or else you need to do a copy paste fine so this is how you can do literature review easily uh, by saving your time so if you like the video uh, hit the like button uh, do subscribe my channel thank you and thanks for watching the video